Hi everyone, welcome to Mindset Live. Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I am John. I am Renee. I am with John without an H, J-O-N, <laughs> leave the H out. It is a absolutely beautiful day. Gorgeous day, happy spring. I mean, seriously, we couldn't ask for better weather, so I'm hoping everyone is enjoying the spring weather I we've been having. Absolutely, I hope everyone's enjoying uh, their spring day. I spent my spring day chasing vaccines, literally. Uh, <laughs> we got some intel. Uh, that there was vaccines potentially available, you know, that they have left over at the end of the day type of thing. And so we jumped in the car and we raced over and uh, they looked at us and we got out of the car and we were so excited <laughs> and, hey, we're here and we're ready to do our part. We're to take our vaccine, ready to go to Donna Cola again. And the next thing you know, they said, uh, first of all, you're not over 60. Second of all, I don't know, you know what you're doing. Just go back in your car and go home. And so here we are. But here now we we're are. here with you. We left. So, very excited. <laughs> but that was our eventful day. Um, let's see if the girls are ready. I don't um, know any of these people. No. <laughs> I don't know any of the people requesting us. I don't know them. I think it's Jamie. Oh. <laughs> I think she wants to come in. Does and Jamie want to join the party? <laughs> she totally can. Okay, so let her in. I don't know what to tell you. Um, uh, anyway. But let's talk a, bit, a little bit about our guest today. Yes. Uh, so our guests today are two amazing young ladies who have really cool mindsets. Yes. They are Jesse Friedman and Skylar Schwatt. I, what's the relationship between them? I don't, did they just meet or? <laughs> they are cousins. They are you cousins. Know that. Of course I know that. So I'll give you a little history uh, about um, first Jesse's parents uh, are, of course, the incredible and dynamic uh, Jamie and Evan Friedman, Schwatt Friedman of the Schwatt Friedmans of Boca Raton, <laughs> and uh, been lifelong friends of ours and, of course, incredible supporters. Uh, and then, of course, there is Skylar's parents, and Skylar's mom, uh, almost 30 years ago, was Renee's boss at the boutique Lonnie's on 60th, and she threw me out of Lonnie's more than once, uh, and I don't blame her at all. Lori, you did the right thing. <laughs> I was a 19-year-old ne'er-do-well, uh, wandering around the retail landscape, looking for... Oh, wait. Uh, okay, wait. Okay, wait. Think, Skylar's trying to request. Think, okay. Here we go. We're gonna get oh, him in. Oh, we got it. There we go. What do we do? I don't know. We hit Skylar. It's not working. Hmm. Let's see. Let's view the request. Hmm. Can you request again? Maybe re-request because we're having a little problem here. Yeah. So if you can re-request us, we'd yeah. appreciate it Let's because this is like see. not working. <laughs> All right, wait, move this up. Let's go here, view request. Skylar. But we keep trying to hmm. highlight it and it's not working. I don't know, I don't know why. Oh, okay. Here see. we go. Wait, things are happening. Things are happening. <laughs> oh, my Ooh, God. Jamie's here. Jamie's watching. Let's see. There oh. they are. Hi. Hi guys. What's Hi. up? How, How are, are you? Can you hear us? You're like breaking up a little bit. Do you guys have any Wi-Fi? You good? Yeah, we have Wi-Fi. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> so what's up guys? Not much. Happy Sunday. Happy yeah, Sunday. Happy Sunday to you guys. And happy spring. How gorgeous is this weather? So nice out. So nice. The best Jesse, day. you brought it with you, I think. I know. Why not? I just brought it with <laughs> me. So anyway, let's let's jump right in. Um, I think it was about a year ago today that Jesse, you were abroad, correct? Yeah, uh, March thirteenth. But who's counting? Yeah, who's counting? <laughs> literally, and uh, everything obviously changed for everybody. Uh, but right. you were abroad, and you came home. And what was what was that? What was that journey like for you when you? when you first heard and you realized you had to come home and now? Right, a year later. Um, so the beginning of it, complete denial. I didn't think it was real. I, every jacket to my name, I mean, while I've been in New York, I've used Skylar's jackets because I left everything there. I just assumed we were going back. It was a week or two weeks, you know? Me and my friends were planning what our next trip was gonna be when we got back. So it was definitely not something we thought would be a year later and me being the same thing but yeah it was definitely all of our worlds I mean especially mine I had to travel across the world but all of our worlds kind of changed 
and to the day haven't been the same, but definitely a learning experience. You got to just adapt with what comes. And I somewhat became like a high schooler again. I moved back into school and had to do, you know, move back home and had to do school at home and kind of had to adapt to that life again, where I was very used to doing it by myself and on my own. And, you know, the good part about it was I got my mom's cooking back and I got everything that came with, you know, not doing yeah. my own laundry, which is obviously. <laughs> uh, Absolutely. So, and, and, and you got some good CBD out of it. <laughs> oh, of course. Never been calmer, never rested better. Yeah, thank you. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> you guys are okay. Literally, okay. <laughs> this is live, everybody. If you were curious, this is not a. Uh, by the way, it is live. And so if anybody has any questions for any of us, please feel free. Also, I don't want the audience to get comfortable thinking that we're going to have multiple guests on every week. Uh, <laughs> this is our second week with multiple guests. And we're not going to just keep increasing the guests every week. We're not going to have five next week. I like it. Yeah, I think it's I fun. think it's fantastic. But, uh, <laughs> Family involved next week. All of them. Schwartz, yes. Friedman. Oh, oh my God. God. That was lit. Schwartz. I love right. it. Friedman's what? everyone. <laughs> yeah, no. That would be lit. But I'm probably, thank you. Would be lit. Yeah. Wait, Skylar, tell us what happened for you, how, how it was last March for you. Yeah, so I had a trip planned to go home on March 6th. And at the time, I was working at Twitter. And Twitter had was one of the first companies to say, um, you know, we highly recommend you work from home. So I thought, especially after traveling, so I thought I was going to go home and then I'd have to quarantine for two weeks before returning to the office because they said domestic or international travel all required us to quarantine. And then on Sunday, I was about to fly back on Monday. I got an email from work saying we highly recommend that you, no one comes into the office. So I was stuck in Boca for what I thought would be a weekend until August with three days worth of clothes. Um, so yeah, my life like pretty much changed at that moment in time. And I like kind of fell back to being a high schooler too. Like Jesse said, obviously, you know, we're going through different things, but this pandemic was something that like we both went through and just, all right, we so all- You both, you both came with out of it, it seemed with this, a new mindset, if you don't mind me saying, and, and this amazing way that you guys you know, were able to adapt. Uh, I don't know if it was something to do with your age or, or, or the adaptability of, of as a population, but you guys just adapted and you just kept moving forward. And I think it's really a, a testament to a lot of people your age that we're talking to, you know, I mean, it was such an upheaval and yet uh, a combination of, I guess, really just rolling with it, rolling with it and, and not pushing against it really provided for you guys this incredible yeah, I mean, there, there's so much uncertainty. Like, like Jesse said, you didn't know what you thought you were going back. I think like a lot of people can relate to that. And a lot of people felt that because it didn't feel real at the time. Like, I remember up until the last day, like my son thought he was going on spring break. And it was like, no, we're not going. It, it just everyone did not realize what this I don't think we could have. It's unimaginable. But you guys have such great mindsets. And you're just like, so so wait, so what happened? So Twitter did that you were in Florida. And now do you still have the same job? Like, how did that work? Like, yeah, so I would say the pandemic was definitely like, a crazy thing for me. Um, I actually lost my job in September, I was laid off because of the pandemic. Um, so not only like being stuck at home, you know, I had lost my job. Um, my whole life had pretty much changed in that time. Um, so my anxiety was pretty high. And I really like did rely on CBD to kind of, you know, help me through that time. Um, when I was like, unsure about my job status, or when I get employed again, um, you know, CBD was kind of the calming aspect for me, especially in my sleep. Like I would wake up at four in the morning prior to taking it and would just like be laying there thinking about like what I, what else I could be doing to, you know, apply for jobs. And, you know, it's a tough market right now. People aren't getting. Yeah, yeah no, it is. Yes, yeah, so we have an affiliate program if you'd like to join. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, <laughs> but still, I'm yeah. You, <laughs> you chose though, it, it's like, says something about you that you chose to help yourself. And you said, you know what, I could just sit here and have a mindset of just, you know, being depressed or being having anxiety. And you said, No, I'm going to help myself. And I'm going to choose 
a different mindset. I'm going to choose to help myself and take care of myself. And that's really amazing. And that's like the first step in like, you know. Yeah, I think that's been a, one of the most impressive things I've seen with people is that their willingness to want to take care of themselves and to open themselves to natural remedies and to different uh, solutions to helping themselves, whether that was meditation or that was cannabis or that was uh, yoga, everybody trying to figure out these natural solutions to the overwhelming anxiety and, and stress that everyone was just under this, this, this intense pressure. Uh, I'll tell you a very quick story. Last night was the first time that Renee and I went out with our friends. We went to our friend's house, our friend Mark, happy birthday, Mark. And uh, he had us in our little group over and we hadn't seen any of our friends in uh, since the winter started and the New York winters are, are tough. It was cold and it was hard as you, as you can imagine. And uh, I was so anxious though, before I went, I was excited to see everybody, but you know, I took the CBD and obviously it was really this wonderful thing where I was able to enjoy myself and enjoy the experience of reconnecting with my friends. What's it like for you guys? What's it like? You're in New York city today. It's a beautiful day. Are you out and about? Like, wh what is that like for you? I mean, go first. <laughs> we, we de we're try I think, I think, you know, nothing is normal. Normal isn't a normal word anymore. So we don't do anything normal. Honestly, even before then, you know, our family, we don't do anything normal. Everything is. <laughs> and we can on that, yeah. Beyond crazy. It, it's our normal. So we don't do a normal. So we do what we want to do or what we feel comfortable doing. And then at sometimes, you know, stepping out of our comfort zone. So I think trying to make the best out of a somewhat not great, great situation. So even right now, I mean, we're in Skylar's apartment and we're just hanging out and we're just happy to be with each other, not have to be, I mean, even we were both somewhat back to high school when we were stuck at home um, and we couldn't even see each other. Cause just, you, you didn't know, we couldn't leave know. Houses, so I think we're just so grateful that we could even just do this. We can just, you know, be on Instagram Live and be next to each other rather than it being separate. So I think mm -hmm. that's one of the great things that we can do. But you know, even I lived here, you know, in New York when I was a kid, and you know, it brings back weird memories. But it's somewhat the same, just with maybe a face covering and <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> trying to make the best out of a really tough, like, like tough. Um, situation that everyone kind of has to adapt to and kind of figure it out and whether it's you know going through a million relationships or whatever anyone goes through I think you just kind of have to figure it out and kind of play it by ear and I think the city is a great place to be because everyone's just doing something different and you just kind of have to figure it out but you're all doing the same thing at the same time just trying to live your life but safely and carefully and just be with people that you love I think that's and, and what's your sense of the city? You, you haven't been in the city in a while and, and now you're back. What's your sense? Has it changed? Did you feel the vibrancy of New York still? Do you feel as if there's... I mean, to be honest with you, walking through it today, it felt like the city. I mean, I even, we were saying today that it, it was the city. We, there was people there and, and everyone, there was, you know, the, the people playing music on the streets and, and people were just sitting on the benches. So it was just, it was, to me, it was the city and, and, you kind of have to overlook the masks and the somewhat like scaredness of it all because you just have to go with it. You just yeah. kind of, that's exactly it. It's like exactly what you said. It's not normal and you have to lean into the not normal. And once you like, accept that everything <laughs> is not normal. <laughs> what about you, Skylar? What was your, what's your take? Yeah. I was obviously home for the first six months. So coming back to the city for me was culture shock I left my apartment in this like state like where I thought I'd be back in you know a weekend and like there was stuff that like was just unsettled in my apartment so coming back was definitely like a very weird anxiety feeling um but I came back in summer and I definitely like saw the changes with like the outdoor dining and what's going on and then as the weather started to get cold the city started to get you know a little bit more empty and, you know, started to kind of feel more deserted. But now as the weather's changing again, I really think like there's great energy in the air. Like I keep telling my friends that like this New York is like peaking right now. And like, you know, spring is gonna be such a fun time with more people getting vaccinated um, and people, you know, being able to control the pandemic a little bit more than we were able to a year ago. So I think that, you know, just trying to 
w live in this new normal and you know outdoor dining has been something that like I've been like a huge fan of this pandemic like I'm pretty against indoor dining unless it's with my poppy mm -hmm. uh, yeah same uh, yeah we haven't we haven't indoor <laughs> no we we've only outdoor <laughs> um, so yeah just like making the best of the outdoor dining and like this weekend it's been beautiful out so you know we sat outside yesterday um on a terrace and we just hung out outside with our family which was just like an amazing experience and you know hopefully as the weather continues to be nicer um the virus will kind of go behind us somewhat it will always still be here but like we can you know make more normal uh, okay. yeah i mean that's exactly it i mean the mindset that you guys have is exactly it i mean it's 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 whatever the new normal is going to be it's going to be a hybrid of a combination of things that we had gone through and there was some very useful things. And in fact, we were talking last night, uh, a friend and I, and he, he was in, a, in an office for the last year. It's his own business, but he was really excited about being in the office for the year because it gave him that continuity where uh, Renee and I were working completely from home and really were enjoying that sort of autonomy of being able to work when we wanted to work and not when we wanted to work. And so we were talking about going forward. What do you think? Do you think that there's going to be people going back to the office? Do they need that? Or can you... And how do you feel yeah, about how do you it? Feel like, do about you, you think want to be in the office or do you want to like it better from home? So I think it's like a mix of both. Like I okay. love the ability of working from home. You know, I've been able to go home to Florida. Like I was home last weekend um, and I was able to actually like work from my house in Florida, which is the great part of the flexibility and from working from home. Um, I currently work at Roku and they like want everyone to be in the office as soon as we can be in the office. But I think it's going to be a more flexible schedule where it's might be like three days a week. I just don't think the in the office thing is just going to be the same anymore. I think people are learning that you can adapt and adjust to, you know, these new changes and you don't need to be in an office to do your job. You can do your job from home. And it's crazy because there's were some days where I wasn't working. And before I started working at Roku where I would be home, you know, by myself, I live in a studio apartment and I would feel like I'm not talking to anyone for the whole day. So I'd like call my mom to make sure like my voice like so worked and because <laughs> oh <my God>. yeah. <laughs> I like that. texting and like watching TV. And I don't know, like I wanted to make sure like I could still like have vocal cords. So wow. I hear you. Wow. That's, 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 that's that can cause anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> and what about you, Jesse? You're graduating, right? You're Right. So, so I'm graduating, actually going to grad school, which is a change in itself. So, you know, at the moment, not sure where I'm going to be, what I'm going to do, if it's going to be online, if I'm going to, you know, have to do an internship through grad school online. I, I, everything is kind of unknown. But I think what we've had in our life is, and, and I hope I can speak for Skylar and I, and I think I can, but I think the constant that we've had is our family. And I think even our, we have a group chat of 23 of us oh, wow. and the entire day it's been blowing up because um, our poppy got vaccinated oh. and poppy and her dad, my mom and my dad all went on the boat today oh. just for them and just got to be together and we're sending oh. us videos and singing and it was our new normal. So I think that's a great example of how, whether it's work, whether it's school, whether it's graduate school, whatever we want to do, I think, you know, how have they have shown that that's how they do it. You know what? They wait a little bit and they need to get vaccine and they need to make sure they're comfortable with it. Just like being in an office or online, whatever you're comfortable with is what you have to do. And then you kind of, you know, here and there get like a sense of normal and you can be with your family whether it's you know whatever they're doing and you know and yeah, and yeah absolutely too. and i think that you know i think that cbd does play a part of uh part of that that uh that yeah. re-entering and and, and re-establishing that like, normal for me yesterday i went to the city for the first time in a year like i haven't been to new york city in a year and i, I used to go all the time um and go, I was so anxious about going in. I had to take a calm gummy. I saw all, by the way, I was happy that the city was like bustling and like, it, it really was. It was so nice to see and everyone had their mask on, but it was okay. Like, but I was still nervous. Like I still, I wasn't used to seeing so many people or like being near me. It, it was definitely, but once I had my calm gummy, I was fine. <laughs> <laughs> 
So Imagine. not to get all seeing other people on you, Skylar, but uh, <laughs> we did hear that you might be dating somebody. I don't know. Do you want to? Do you want to give us any insight into that? that I am. Or? Um, it's funny that you mentioned seeing other people because Alana is one of like my really good friends. So it's just so funny, you know, how all these worlds are colliding. But it's great. It's so it's so amazing. Yeah, it's definitely like one of you know the great things that happened to me this pandemic was like, I was able to meet someone and connect with someone. And like a year ago, I would have never thought that like I could meet someone during a pandemic, but I did. So that's been amazing. amazing. Yeah, it's the power of mindset. <laughs> it really is. You had a good mindset <laughs> and you met a good guy. So yay. <laughs> I mean, dating must be really difficult now for people. I can't imagine what goes on. <laughs> I like when I came back to the city, um, I started dating and it was a whirlwind because like you didn't really know what, you know, you could really be doing in terms of like safety. Mm -hmm. I didn't really want to like indoors weren't even open. But then like when indoors open, like I didn't want to um, do anything indoor dining. So I'd kind of like tell people that like right before like the first date, um, making sure they like understood like my comfort level and then like it's weird because like when you show up to a date like you're wearing a mask and like you don't like you've probably seen like two pictures of this person whether it's like through a setup or a dating app or instagram like you just like don't know like what yeah. they really like. and like then like you don't know if you should hug or like <laughs> <laughs> like elbow tap like i would just be really yeah. comfortable thing yeah, no, that's the new foreplay, the elbow tap. Elbow tap. <laughs> easy, 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 easy. Honey. Don't elbow tap me in public. Um, so let me ask you a question. What is, if you had, if somebody came to you and said, listen, uh, I've heard all about CBD and I'm interested, but they're just not sure. What would you say to them? You know, how would you, how would you explain your experience? Jess, you want to go? Um, well, I would first explain that, that, you taking it you're not gonna you're not gonna be high you're not gonna I think that's maybe like a worry of someone that that if they take it they make it high which is so not the point I mean for me I I remember um my mom got a package from you guys when I was um taking the GRE during you know school and quarantine and my mom said here take this focus got me and I remember you Renee and I was like is it going to work? Like, I, I don't, I don't know if it's going to work. And I took it. And I think sometimes for me, it might be a mental thing. And then I was like, I, I remember after starting, I said, mom, these actually work. And she was like, are you sure? <laughs> I was like, I think, so. I really think they really, I was so, I could not stop focusing. And I, I don't love it <laughs> for any way, shape or form, but I was so focused that I just really did it. And here we are, took, the CBD focus gummies for my GRE in one try, did it, set my scores, and they happened to have been great. And Yay. that was fun. And I somewhat owe it to you guys for pushing yes. me, pushing my mom to just be like, just try it. Just right. see what it's out. Yeah. And then waiting and for my very support. modest, so we're gonna take all the credit for <laughs> all of your future success. <laughs> Everything we do going forward is respond we are responsible. <laughs> If you take credit, you have to pay for her grad school. Oh, me too. Oh, geez. I got to sell a lot of It was CBD. all Jamie. It was yeah, all Jamie. Right. I think, yeah, I think Jamie had a lot more to do with it, actually, than we were leaving on. Right. <laughs> Jess, that's amazing. That is incredible. And so then how did you incorporate it into your, like, routine or life after that, that you realized that it helped you? Right. So I've, all, I've not been the best sleeper in my life. I'm sure my mom is on here and probably is laughing and attests to that for all three of us. Um, but... The calm CBD was always what I first took right before I was not right before I was going to bed before I really was ready to just go to bed and essentially calm down. I would take the calm CBD um, and then I would take the rest and I would wake up like, oh, my God, I cannot believe I just did that. Like it would be a, do I take Avo PM? Like, what, what do I do? How do I do this? How do I go to bed? How do I sleep through the night? And, you know, essentially I slept through the night and I was like, Okay, it's like a little win, you know? Little things that happen that make you excited. And it was, I slept through the night. Yeah, which was amazing. 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 And that takes so much stress off of your life. To be able right. to sleep is like so important. 
right. for um, everything. Rest. I mean, if you don't rest, if you don't recover, I mean, you, you're just never going to be at your optimum. And it's so, true. Yeah. I'm so happy that it That's helped. Fantastic. And Skylar, tell us about your journey with CBD. Yeah. So I like feel like I had just like a crazy like summer fall of last year. Um, I had like gone through like a breakup and with losing my job and all of that, like things were just like, you know, I kind of felt like it was like a dumpster fire. And my boss was like being really, really hard on me. I, like heard through the grapevine that there were going to be like people laid off from work. So, you know, I was freaking out and like, I would take CBD, you know, like the happy CBD every time I would like know like something was going to be stressful in my work environment. Um, and that really helped me like prior to getting into like any conversations, just like, you know, reset my focus, make me kind of like more relaxed about the situation. And then the other thing that it really helped me with was my sleep. Um, I was waking up at like, as I mentioned earlier, like I was waking up at like four in the morning, I would call my mom at like four in the morning and be like, mom, I like can't sleep. Like, I don't know what to do. And then I started taking um, CBD and it really like changed me. And like, I can't sleep out without it now. Like I've literally given it to anyone I know. I'm like, do you guys want to try this? Like I, I, I have, and like, it just really helped me. And now I can sleep through the night, which is like super important for me. Cause like, I'm a morning workout person. And like, if I don't have like a good night of sleep, then like, I can't work out. And like, it just like, same messed me up too. my whole day. Totally. Morning workout wow. person. Wow. Yeah. I love that. I, I love that it helped you. And I, I love how you guys like have added it to your routine. So it's just a part of your routine now. It's not even like you don't even think about it. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll take a rest gummy or I'll take a calm gummy. And you just feel better. And it's that simple. And you both made the choice to feel better, to help yourselves. And, uh, and I think there's so many people out there who are so curious, but afraid to make that choice. It's almost like when you're saying to yourself, um, oh, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. But you know what, like, you have to really take care of yourself. It's not just okay to be okay. You don't have to sit in that. And you guys are great, awesome, I love it. What advice would you give to people, you know, thinking about CBD? I mean, I think even, if you're going to take it, even with life in general, you just, you got to take a chance. And I feel like you have to try new things. And I feel like we've all learned that through all of this. I mean, even not being able to see anyone in quarantine or, you know, me getting on a flight here was, my mom's like, do you have your, your face shield? Do you have a hazmat suit? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think you just have to take a chance. And I think, you know, every day is, is a new day and I think whether it's you just want to calm down whether you want to focus whether we sat on a boat I mean and again I'm sure my mom and my uncle and everyone on here can Ricky Scott everyone can attest this we sat on a boat and we didn't go anywhere on the boat we sat there docked and we took happy CBD and we I've never in my entire life been happier <laughs> or, or who I was with and we were just happy. We were just happy. So I think I can attest that you just got to take a chance and you might want to be happy and you should be. And, and if you're not, then you should be taking the happy CBD gummies and you're totally <laughs> pissed if you're not. Oh my God. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I, I would it. echo everything that Jesse said. I think that for me, I like was going through like to a lot of like therapy, like because of the pandemic and then realized that, you know, while I was talking about my problems, like, you know, there are like chemicals that sometimes like need to be, you know, triggered, wh whether it's like getting extra like serotonin or, you know, CBD to calm you down. And I think that it's okay to like, take this to make you feel better. And like, it's not like, I don't smoke weed. And like, that was like, my biggest hesitation was like, oh, like, it's a derivative of it. But like, it doesn't give you the same feeling. It really like, relaxes you and makes you feel, you know, great and it really has helped me in like times of high anxiety so i think like if you're dealing with anxiety like i deal with i think it could be a really great supplement like to your life yeah, yeah absolutely it's so important for people to know that too to know that it's not going to get you high and that it's not the same thing as weed it's it's completely yeah. different even though it's like from well, scientifically it can't get you high the way that it interacts with your receptors in your endocannabinoid system it actually cannot get you high so uh, people have tried <laughs> to get on <laughs> CBD. You just can't do it. Uh, but it, it is a balancer, and that's what it does. It balances your system. 
the What's amount that, that we've taken, we can attest that we, you do not get high. <laughs> you cannot get high. <laughs> right. So if anybody wants to try any mindset wellness CBD, we have a code, uh, Jesse10. Uh, so go to mindsetwellnesscbd.com. Use code Jesse10, J-E-S-S-I-E-10, -E and you'll get 10% off and you'll get free shipping. And you have to make that choice to choose your mindset. So go make that choice. Guys, I cannot thank you enough for joining us. This has been an incredible pleasure. Each week gets better, and this has been the best week yet. So thank you so much. Uh, and that's it. Just yeah. I love you're spreading you your love and you're, light. Yeah, you're you. amazing. You really are amazing. And I think everyone listening should really like uh, <laughs> uh, follow those mindsets. I love it. <laughs> yeah. You guys are incredible. Thank you again. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.